If you like my videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. The links are down below. When anybody over the age of 40 hears that familiar yell, they know exactly who it is. Now between you and me, when I think of a tall muscular man in a loincloth, the first thing I think of is my nephew's bucket list. The second thing I think of is Tarzan. Today we're going to talk about an arcade game that got its inspiration from an episode of Gilligan's Island. So let's take a look at the complete history of Jungle Hunt. 1981 brings us to the offices of Taito. Best known for its arcade hits such as Elevator Action, Chase HQ, and Space Invaders. One of the developers in the arcade division mentions an old Gilligan's Island episode featuring a Jungle Boy. This starts the ball rolling and what comes of it is another 1980s arcade gym. Taking place over four stages, Jungle Boy sees you trying to rescue your mate after she has been kidnapped by hideous cannibals. Did I say Jungle Boy? Wait a second, Patman. I thought this was about Jungle Hunt. Well, it is. Early in the development, thanks to the 1965 episode of Gilligan's Island, this game was originally titled Jungle Boy. Incidentally, Jungle Boy is portrayed by super actor Kurt Russell in one of his first acting gigs. After playtesting Jungle Boy in various arcades, the drop-off and profits were rather sharp. It was noted that the male demographic who were playing this game could not get behind a young boy being the main hero, so the decision was made to change it to a more mature theme. The developers of the game decided to change the age of the main hero to 25. They also added that familiar yell at the beginning of the game. The developers also agreed to a name change, and that was Jungle King. Now anybody familiar with The Legend of Tarzan will tell you that Jungle King is a little bit too similar to King of the Jungle. As we all know, this is now another nickname for Tarzan. Tarzan was created in 1912 by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Tarzan appeared in over 25 novels written by Mr. Burroughs. After seeing the success of his new characters, he saw dollar signs. He immediately wanted to license his characters out to a variety of vendors, toys, games, radio shows, and movies. For just some of the things to come. Mr. Burroughs was also very strict to protecting his IP. Now even though his works are partially in the public domain, his estate still holds the copyright on the name and image of Tarzan. They too thought that Jungle King was a little bit too similar to King of the Jungle, so a lawsuit was filed against the company. Taito agreed to change the character name and the likeness. Gone was the loincloth and in its place was a safari outfit and helmet. The Tarzan yell was gone as well. This brings us to Jungle Hunt. Whew. Jungle Hunt takes place across four stages. The vine swing, swimming, bowler dash, and finally rescuing your mate from the evil cannibals. The first stage sees you swinging across several vines. All of the vines are swinging different speeds so you have to time your jumps correctly. The second stage sees you swimming in a crocodile infested river. You can take them out with your knife by pressing the attack button. You must return to the surface periodically otherwise you will run out of air and die. You must also watch out for the bubbles that rise from the bottom as they will trap you. Level 3 sees you running up the side of a volcano while you try to avoid giant boulders rolling down at you. You can either duck or jump, which varies depending on what type of boulder is coming towards you. If you make it through all three of these obstacles, you'll find yourself at the final level. In this one, you have to watch out for the cannibals who have taken your mate hostage and are lowering her into a giant cauldron. You need to jump over them and jump up to rescue her. After you do this, you get a nice I love you message and then the game repeats itself only with the difficulty increased. Upon the third revision, this game was a massive hit. There was a board game and conversions. Holy moly, were there ever conversions. This game was ported to just about every major console and home computer on the market. You can save her in Atari Jungle Hunt, just like the arcade classic. Fight man eating crocodiles. Dodge deadly boulders. Wouldn't you rather order a... Outsmart hungry headhunters. 
I know a great little Italian place. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, Jungle Hunt. Please. Yeah. Hurry. Jungle Hunt, you from Atari. <laughs> All of the conversions turned out reasonably well. This game was ported to roughly 15 different platforms. The worst, in my opinion, is either the VIC-20 or the Texas Instruments. The best conversion would have to go to the Atari 800 personal computer. Now that's something I don't think I've ever said. So what does a major multi-million dollar company like Taito do when a hot game like Jungle Hunt has finally hit its peak? They milk that bad boy even more. After a few slight graphic and style modifications, Pirate Pete was born. This game is just a reskin of Jungle Hunt, but the premise is about the same. This time you are a pirate, whose name is Pete, and you have to go and rescue your mate. This time you're swinging from ropes instead of vines, swimming in a river infested with sharks, jumping over boulders on the third level, and then jumping over island natives with swords on the last. The ending is just the same with the I love you cutscene, only this time reflecting a pirate instead of an explorer. One feature that Jungle Hunt introduced was parallax scrolling. What is parallax scrolling you ask? It is when the foreground scrolls faster than the background, thus creating an illusion of depth. A few of the home conversions included this, namely the Atari 2600 version. Another milestone this game achieved was one of the first lawsuits involving copyright infringement. This wasn't the first, however, as six months prior, Universal Pictures sued Nintendo over Donkey Kong being a ripoff of King Kong. But let's save that for another video. So what's my opinion of Jungle Hunt? I think it's an early 1980s arcade classic. Although the game is short, it's still a lot of fun to play. Whether it's Jungle King, Jungle Hunt, or even Pirate Pete, the game is still enjoyable to this day. Thanks for watching.